Hello, Hello. everybody. Welcome to the TDS Wrestling Show. Do you want a light on on your phone? Your torch? Ah. Yeah. Oh. Fire, fire. So you can fire, see him better. Firefly. Um, yeah. Turn the lights off so you do the firefly. Can't really leave. No? It's too far away, yeah. There. So, um, right. hello everybody. Welcome to the TDS Wrestling Show and Uncle Pro Wrestling Howdy. World. Could be yeah, a, Uncle Howdy, Sam. Uncle Howdy. He could be a surprise entry in the Rumble. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to put that in on the... Yeah. Yeah. This is still pre-Rumble right now. Technically it is. We... Tonight is the Rumble! Are you guys excited? No, we, it would have already have happened. Oh, <laughs> oh so on Saturday again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Last night, that rumble. Oh, yes. That winner. Freaking fantastic. Yeah. And does. those surprise returns. Yep. Oh, I need to cream my pants with some of them. Oh, man. <laughs> for, for once, When right? Santina Morella came down. I can, the um, women's. <laughs> yeah. I can take these headphones off. Oh. I don't need the headphones on. Are you sure? Yeah. Because you might not know. If stuff I can, is... There's literally one screen on. There's nothing else on. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, anyway, lonely. I feel so, lonely without the audience. This this is a strange one. This is. Should we make some up? We, oh, hi, Alex. Yeah, welcome hey, back, hey, Bob. Oh, fuck you, Josh. Yeah. Um, Aaliyah. Yeah. Aaliyah's back as well. She's come back. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is a recording. We yeah, it's just the three of us. <laughs> You there. <laughs> He's having a laugh. He's You're right there, Terry's yeah. Teddy Bear. Yeah, we'll He's corpsing in the background. Well, anyway, my name is Sam Watts, Corpse. and um, and my name is DDC. Bang, bang. And your and your name. Your name is the Teddy Bear. Yeah, Teddy Bear. My, my brother from another mother. Teddy Bear three thousand. Mm. There right. he is, the Teddy Bear Terry Bloody Johnson. <laughs> so and we're going to discuss what are we discussing. Our top five, not top ten, because we would be we're here all night. We're disgusted, are we? By some of these picks. You might be disgusted. Yeah, you will be. Yeah, you will be. <laughs> you better, you our, our better pers- believe. We like, to, to be honest, the, the top 10 series is actually, it's, it's quite good fun. Yeah, but we've, we've narrowed it down to top fives because there's so many of us. There's three of us now. Yeah. So there's 15 straight off the bat. Well, it's normally about 60. Yeah, there's <laughs> yeah. 15. But then if we have different ones, it goes up to like 20. And then we end up discussing like 50 pay-per-views in one uh, episode. I would have thought we all got the same for number one. Have we? I would have thought so. Would you thought so? Yeah. I might throw your biscuit out the window. Custard cream or digestive? Soggy one. Ugh. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the actual Royal Rumble as a whole. Pink wafer. And I've, I've basically gone as a whole. So this ain't just the Royal Rumble specifically that match. No, it's not no, just this the is the whole match. pay-per-view, boy. So before everyone gets sensitive. Oh. People are going to get sensitive because there's always one Royal Rumble which is going to have a shit match. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's always going to be a shit match, usually. Yeah. Or an angle that turns into a match. Or... So the question is, boyos. who's going to go first? Who usually goes first? What do we do? Normally... Uh, I would normally go second. I tend, and you go normally. You go first, and he Terry goes last. All right. So, should we just kick it off then? Let's yeah, kick it kick off. It Let's it go. Off. Top okay. five Royal so Rumbles, guys. On the kickoff Woo-hoo! show, my first one is a uh, 2015 where <laughs> Roman Reigns uh, defeated uh, everybody in the world, and then the Rock. Get- no, it's not. I'm sorry. Oh fuck it. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Uh, Don't worry. You had us on the spot. I was I like, know. Fuck, we got to kick him out now. <laughs> but <laughs> it is a bit controversial. All right. Because the winner is a controversial person. So can you guess from that? Dal really? Mm, you were close. Not really. He's not as... Seamus? It was Benoit. 2004. 2004. Hey, no, that's cool. That's cool. That is... That's a cool rumble. My number five. Yeah, yeah. And I have some notes somewhere. So, yeah, what was the card on that then? Shawn Michaels, Triple H. Oh, yeah, last one. Michael Holly, Brock Lesnar. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh. Didn't we have a tag team match as well? Yeah. We had. Where is it now? 20 years ago, guys. So Jesus. We had also, we had Eddie Guerrero defeated Chavo Guerrero. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of um, match. tables yeah. match, isn't it? With Chavo Guerrero Sr. involved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, as you said, Brock Lesnar 
and Triple H, Shawn Michaels, things like that. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, Evolution, Batista and Ric Flair defeat the Dudley Boys. Opening contest was Victoria and Molly Holly. That was not on the main. That was on heat. pre pre match. That was on sure. heat. I made it the mania. One heat. <laughs> One heat. You know. Yeah. And evolution, yeah. Um yeah, solid, solid show mm-hmm. all the way through. Yeah. I liked Jamie Noble with Nidia because Nidia was there. Um <laughs> uh, yeah. But I, I that, at yeah. the time I thought Chris Benoit was a deserving winner. Yep. And I really enjoyed the two thousand four Mumbo actually. Led to the massive WrestleMania with Eddie. Yeah. And Benoit in the ring and yeah, it's a shame about what happened happened after all that. Oh, what with Benoit? With Benoit, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. like I think a, it's a controversial topic just talking about Chris Benoit, but mm. I will always respect what he's done in in the wrestling business. Mm-hmm. Personal stuff, we don't even need to talk about it. This is the only time, though, as well, that I was invested in Hardcore Holly, other than when he was having the whole thing with his. Crack. Yeah, I really like this actually, and I was a bit yeah. like. This would have been actually really cool to finally pull the plug on him. All centered around the whole neck injuries, yeah. And stuff, yeah. Um, didn't he yeah. have a? Uh, didn't he? Was he IC champ? No, he was in an IC championship match somewhere else. But he's yeah. hardcore champ. <laughs> yeah, and tag champ. And tag. <laughs> but you know, it's as far as the ceiling went for him, really. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's a controversial guy as well. <laughs> a lot is. of controversy in these <laughs> people here. And the last man standing match. Yeah, it was good. That was good. Yeah, that was insane. For that world heavyweight. But yeah, so that's my number five. Shall we go over to Terry or you've got anything else to say on this event? Is uh, it- I, I am. Yeah, I'm glad you chose that one. That's a good one. Yeah, me too. Very, very good Roy Rumble, it on your actually. List it's not on my list, no. That's cool. No. Um, it would probably be my number six, actually. Yeah. I think it would be. Sexy times. I, I do like that. That was cool. Um, so my number five oh. is the, n- your number five my number five dun, dun, dun. drum roll please did we have any intro music on this episode yeah I don't know oh, oh. what was it was it oh, you have to wait and see oh, I, I will, I will <laughs> it's not that exciting but eagerness <laughs> um, so 1999 Rumble yeah oh what happened here I loved the I Quit match the Rock and Mankind oh yeah Oh, what's going on there? Yeah, I don't have an eidetic memory. You have to jog my memory. So I will give you the card. So we've got... I'm going to bring it up on the old official iPad. You guys carry on chatting. Yeah. Yeah, so Ken Shamrock and Billy Gunn for the IC Championship match. Oh, sorry, we've got Big Boss Man versus Road Dog in singles match, which, to be fair, that wasn't bad. It was okay match, but whatever. But the Intercontinental Championship match, Ken Shamrock and Billy Gunn. Uh, Ken Shamrock defeats Billy Gunn by submission. Mm-hmm. That was a pretty damn good match. I was really cool with that. Uh, X Pac defeats Gangrel, uh, European Championship match. That was, again, okay. Ch- the strap match with Sable and Luna f- uh, for the Women's Championship. That wasn't very good. But the the Rock defeating Mankind for the um, in an IQ match for the WWF Championship. That is the Job a- Squad defeated too much. They're that, they were two mm. matches on Sunday Night Heat, yeah. Ah, this is Heat, isn't it? But yeah. the, the I Quit match is very good. Oh, the, and Mankind defeated Mabel on Heat as well. He did, by yeah. By disqualification. Um, but yeah, like, the, the the ending to the Royal Rumble match with Vince McMahon winning, again, that, that does take their steals of thunder away from uh, Austin. yes. This is the one with Vincey, Vincey, Vincey. Yeah, Vincey. and China comes in at number 30. Yeah. But yeah, no, I did. I really enjoyed this Rumble. I mm-hmm. thought it was really cool. Um, yeah. So why did the big boss man defeat Road Dog? What was going on there? I think it was uh, DX versus corporate the corporation. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. The corporate ministry. No, no, just corporation. At oh, the time, just mate. the corporation. Yes, corporation. Yeah. yeah. So um, ministry oh. was after this, wasn't it? Like a corporate ministry not, was after this. Not yeah, long after. Yeah, uh, yeah, only a couple months. Yeah, yeah. This wasn't even really ministry time. It was me. No, not t- it was uh, me all it, along. It was there because we saw a um, well, Mabel was still Mabel in his rumble. Yes, oh. it's not. It's not long. It's there. I think ministry's there. Yeah, it's definitely there. Yeah, no, it must be because the acolytes are part of them. Mm-hmm. Where was Midian? He, I don't think it's far 
After this, he becomes Midian. Uh, Naked Midian could come back in the Rumble that'll last be, night. That'd be cool. He did, didn't he? Do you remember him streaking around the ring last night in the front row? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 24 years ago, buddy. <laughs> in October. <laughs> he, he, he was Midian in the Rumble. So. Yeah. So he was already Midian yeah. at that point. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, that's my number five. Well, oh, that's Dandelion. Is that your number five as well? No, unfortunately, okay. I, I didn't like No Chance. Uh, Rumble. There's no chance in hell. No, it, it's not everyone's cup of tea, I get it. Um, I think my number five would be 1994. I knew you'd say it. I knew you, I knew you would say it. Right, well, I'm completely that's blind. That's quite on high, one. 94. So what I like about 94 was... You had the Yokozuna and Undertaker casket match. All right, you did. Which was done correctly. And, like, and that's the last you see of the Undertaker until SummerSlam. Yeah, which made sense. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Um, you had Owen Hart and Bret Hart. Owen turns on Bret in the tag match. And then you had the co-winners of the Rumble. That's an interesting Lex little, Brett. little um, yep. poster for the event there. Yeah, they were There's back, Doink the Clown. Yeah, they are cool posters. The the, very new gen. Oh, Yokozuna was on an undercard. What? He was the champion. Yokozuna defeat The Undertaker in a casket match to retain the WWF World Heavyweight Champion. IRS, Razor Ramon for the IC. Hmm. I've never seen this in my life. It's a good rumble. The actual rumble itself was pretty Was cool. IRS ever IC champ? No, he wasn't, was he? Hmm? IRS was ever IC champ? No. 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 Bret Hart and Lex Luger co-won the Royal Rumble. Yeah. By last eliminating each other. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. That yeah. sort of situation. Might I don't know why they did. The they show. they should have just done that again in two thousand five. I don't know why they didn't. It would have been <laughs> so much easier <laughs> instead of Vince blowing his quads. He's, you know, he's concerned. You might have a sit. Because Cena and Batista went off the mania anyway. Mm. So what's it fucking? Wait, there? Scott Steiner was in this rumble. Yeah, you look at them names. There's some fucking names there. Rick Steiner as well. Quang, yeah. Owen Hart, Bart Gunn. Yeah. Oh, he was big. He was. Who? Bart Gunn. He's a he big boy. He won the brawl for all. He's a tough yeah. guy. We watched that recently. Billy Gunn. Virgil. Yeah, Virgil. He's a big star, that guy. Yeah. He has the cues out his ass when he's going to conventions. <laughs> and Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, ah. Jeff Jarrett there. First so Royal turn around on this one. I might go watch it when I get home. You never watched 94 Rumble before? I might have watched like bits oh, of it, but I haven't. It's right. I haven't gone back and watched the new gen. It doesn't appeal to me too much. Lex Luger, it's see? worth a watch, mate. It's what good. You know? Yeah, that's where it's at, mate. Adam Bomb. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Bastion you, Booger. You two talking yet or not? No, he's still. Oh, Bastion still Booger was unable me. to compete due to illness. Yeah, yeah. that's right. He won't. He won't pick up my calls. Who? Adam Bomb. Fucking Adam Bomb. Try and call him now. Well, what's going on? You got his number? No, I was trying to call him a messenger. Where is he? He's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> I told it to Tonka. He gave me a thumbs up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, to Tonka. Did you meet him at FD Low? Yeah, he was sound. Yeah. yeah. I, ne- I never met him, but we spoke and he thanked, uh, thanked me for sticking around because he was like the highlight of the... Sorry, he was the, the main event of the Q&As for the whole weekend. Like, we're Q&As like, throughout the I whole... I know that, but why but is he the main event? He was the last person to have a Q&A, but to be fair, like... I'd say mid-card for me. No, he was. Hmm. He did good. I can't he good. might be in the Rumble yesterday. It's the so time, weird yeah. talking it, in the future, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You're confusing me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bless him, he's confused. So, Bam Bam Bigelow was in here. He was. I like D. You remind me of Bam Bam a bit, Terry. Hmm? I think you should get some head tattoos. Head tattoos? Yeah, be Bam Bam. Nah. Why not? Don't think that I get the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where it's gone. I don't know where it's gone. No, that's working? all good. Oh, so, okay. um, Sorry about that. Yeah, Adam Bomb is... And Terry aren't quite on talking terms. I haven't been for quite some time. They had a fallout over some women. Is that right? So he's just being a dick. As I was giving him, I was trying to have a chat with him at like one in the morning. Well, there you go. It wasn't one in the morning for him. Well, that's the thing. It was. Oh, oh right. See. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. So, anything else you would like to add about the '94 Rumble? No, not really. 
That's about it. Mabel was in there. Very enjoyable. Oh, there's an appearance by Jim Cornette. My best year of wrestling. Perfect. You like 94. Mm. Yeah. So why is it not your number one? And Brooklyn Brawler was on the pre-show. Why? Um, Wait, hold on. Brooklyn Brawler defeated Jim Powers. I thought he never won. Yeah, he used to now and again. Won a battle royal. Wow. (laughs) Interesting. Although, why does it say Brooklyn Brawler defeated Jim Powers singles match? Times, there's no time. No, I don't know. What's the one D for as well? Oh, that means it's on like the heat or the uh, velocity dark. or whatever it was at the time. Dark match, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't ever filmed and they didn't get the time, so someone just made it up and said Brawler got a win. <laughs> for his stat padding. I'd like to meet like Brawler. Like AEW does, you know, they just throw out a match on Dark or whatever and they just have a 20-0 and 0 record <laughs> and then they can face the Mojo at the pay-per-view. Yeah. No, not pay-per-view, the weekly show. Yeah. yeah, it works. So, oh my god! Excuse me. So that's your number five. Yeah, I think nineteen ninety-four. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you would, I would have been five years old. I was five too. No, I was. I hadn't even turned five. You're a little bit taller now, but <laughs> <laughs> but this is January of ninety-four. I was still four years old. Oh, I would have been four as well then if it was January. You would have been, mate. I don't know. I'm a baby. Oh, yeah, we're both yeah, babies, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. We're both August babies. You, oh, yeah, fuck you Fuck you, you, you know, fucking February baby, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck February. Mm. August always better. Yeah, yeah, I know. August? School holidays. Yeah. yeah. Fucking shit for me. Yeah. Yeah. Screw you. We never got that assembly embarrassment. <laughs> no, you didn't. I don't think. <laughs> anyway, so. Come by us. Darren, what's your this. number four? Um, uh, My number four is the other double elimination victories but it's 2005 Tista and John Cena accidentally eliminating each other at the same time oh Uh, and the quad being blown out and all this good stuff I like the build to this because they were using like the Hollywood kind of thing weren't they Mm -hmm. there we go California there's only five matches California. on this. Yeah, I did see that. I Edge like, and Michaels was cool. I like that. Yeah. But well, on the pre-show, this time, it was two of my faves. Maven and Rhino had a singles match. <laughs> yeah. Which lasted oh. seven minutes. Yeah. And one second. Don't forget the second. That really, like, tipped it over the edge to be a five-star <laughs> like match. <laughs> But Edge Drop and kicks galore, gores everywhere. Fantastic. I haven't, I haven't watched this Royal and Rumble. And Maven years. actually won. So Yeah, I haven't seen his Royal Rumble. You haven't seen the no, Rumble? No, I have. I haven't seen it for years. Oh, okay. I, I remember Randy Orton was like, he was a baby face here. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, I remember this. Yeah, some. Um, yeah, that's why Triple H. It didn't, it didn't last long. But, but you also had. A really decent match between The Undertaker and Heidenreich. Probably Heidenreich's best ever match. Yeah. I mean... Did we discuss the Edge and Sean match? Edge and Sean? Yeah, Edge and Sean happened. That was cool. And uh, Edge actually won. Which yeah, I remember this. This was good. This, big this, push this, this, this ha- Well, this is the path to him, like, because he wins the Money in the Bank at Mania this year, doesn't he? And it? one of my yeah. personal favourites of the Ruthless Aggression, even though I'm a weirdo, John Bradshaw Layfield. Mate, nothing wrong with that. He defeated Big yeah, Show yeah. and Kurt Angle in a triple threat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a good hard hitting match. <sighs> yeah. That's why it's my number four. And they had the whole Raw versus SmackDown situation going on. They did. You're right. Um, they did. And I really liked those vibes at the time. Yeah. Oh, dear. Good times. Good times. Oh, yeah. No, it's all good. Oh, yeah, Back d- when the brand split meant something. I thought you were going to say we got a comment then for a minute. No, no, we got no comments <laughs> because we're recording. But <laughs> we're not live. Daniel Puder was in this Yeah, Rumble. i just seen that. Yeah. Ant Mohammed Hassan. Luther Reigns. George, 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 uh, he got beat up by Hulk or Holly in a dominate. Simon Dean. Nova. And one of my other Jonathan favorites. Coachman, Mark Ginger. The Hurricane. Oh, God. <laughs> and Kenzo Suzuki was in there. Gene Snitsky. Viscera. Booker T. And another one, Orlando Jordan. Oh, God. Best United States champion of the era. No? No. He was all right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And 
<laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> someone who we've met was unable to compete in this match. Who's what? Scotty Too High. Yeah, why was that? I don't know, but it just says unable to compete. So, but <laughs> he didn't come out. Yeah, Although, Scotty was cool. No, didn't he get choke slammed or something by someone who was leaving the match? Was it Kane? Hassan. Mohammed Hassan. Yeah, he was. That's what it says here. Yeah, he, he got he eliminated attacked, by multiple people. Scotty was attacked by Hassan before he made it to the ring. Yeah. Yeah, but he got eliminated by Booker T, Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, Edge, Luther Reigns, and Shelton Benjamin. <laughs> they oh, all ganged up on him and chucked him out. Hell, guys. Uh, but yeah, the final four being Kane, Batista, Christian, Ric Flair, apparently. I call that? That can't be right. No, that's just the order they came in, sorry. But it says here that Batista's the winner. Yeah. But he wasn't. Not to start with, it kind was of dual elimination. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does say Scotty was attacked by Hassan before he made it to the ring, and therefore was unable to compete and never officially entered the match. Therefore, he's the winner. I was to say Shawn Michaels, uh, he weren't eliminated either. Yeah, he was. Was he all got back in? And, yeah, yeah. Kurt, that's how the start of the feud was, wasn't it? Rain, rain, yeah. WrestleMania 21. That doesn't count, does it? Oh, it does, because remember, Triple H. If he goes over the top row, someone else, though, technically you're out. Yeah. So, 97 then. Mil Mascaras, he jumped in. When Austin went back and eliminated a three, none of them counted as eliminations, hence why they did Fatal Four for the month. Something like that, yeah. So, but we didn't get that that year. Just the rules only work. Yeah, yeah, the rules, work. yeah. The rules are to suit the story. Oh, right. Yeah, that's, that's how wrestling works. Where have you been the last 30 years? <laughs> Watching <laughs> the new gen, mate, where it made <laughs> fucking sense. So, yeah, that's my number four. Is it my, my turn, yeah? Count? Yeah. Oh. My number four is Royal Rumble 2002. You son of a whore. Ooh! Um, you son... <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, all right, all right. Calm down, <laughs> calm down. That's fine. What was it, sorry? 2004? 2002. Oh, 2002. My number four two. is 2002. 2002. Oh, good old Triple H did a win. Oh, there, yes. Um, Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect did a win, did he? Eliminated Austin, yeah. I believe. We had four returns in this rumble. We had Gold Dust, yes. Val Venus, Ooh. The Godfather, and yes. Mr. Perfect. Yes. And the hoe come out with 12 hoes. Sorry, the Godfather came out with 12 hoes. I watched that today on YouTube. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Wait a minute, I've got some more. <laughs> Just a few more. Yeah, that was that was cool. Okay. Um, so we had Spike Dudley and Taz defeating Dudley Boys. Yeah, just another victim theme tag team. team. Yeah, that was an okay match. That was only five minutes long. But the, the the IC Championship match, William Regal defeating Edge for the IC Championship. That William was cool. Regal winning was good. That for was us cool. Over here in the UK. Yes. Trish, Trish versus Jazz for the women's was okay. I like Jazz. But uh, the street fight, Rick Flair. It was Flair a three-minute match. The, the street fight was good, though. <laughs> oh, that yeah, Rick Flair. Rick Flair and McMahon. I, yeah. That was cool. And Rick Flair got bloodied up. He fucking did. And he won with a... Leg lock, oh, for figure four leg lock. Yeah, um, but he didn't. He didn't arch his back, so it wasn't quite as impactful as Charlotte's. No. Charlotte has taken it to another level. Has she nowadays? Has she then? Yeah, but now she can't do it. No, now she's got a bust up knee for the next yeah. year. But don't worry, her husband would be back soon. Of and course, he can take her place. Yeah, I'll be. Actually. I'll be there. And I'll I be mean, there. sorry, her husband came back last night, didn't he? Did it? Oh yeah, he came back yeah. last night. Yeah. yeah, and he won the rumble. Shocker. I don't know what they're trying to establish a Mexican star again. Oh, oh, God. God. oh shit! Yeah. So anyway, and what are you talking about now? Are you talking about the street fight still? No, uh, street fight's done, mate. Nope. What well, undisputed WWF championship? Yeah. Jericho defeats The Rock. Back when Jericho wasn't so crazy. I quite yeah. This was cool. I and I was quite happy with this run. But the Royal Rumble match, fucking bang and rumble match. Mm -hmm. So we will look at the entrance here. Yeah, yeah. Starts off with Big Quiche. Rikishi. Who you're excited to meet this year. Mm. You doing Rikishi? Fatu, I am, yeah, not Rikishi. Oh, okay. Sorry, under his previous gimmick. What's his real, what is Rikishi's real name? Fatu, isn't it? 
Uh, no, it's Solo Fa, Fatu Jr. Yeah. They're, ah, they're all called Fatu or something. They're all... But there's so many of them. I saw another picture earlier about another one that's going to make his I've seen that as well. It's like the same hype as Raymond, isn't he? Oh, Jesus, this bloodline's going to go on for 25,000 years. It's never going to stop. Yeah, it hasn't stopped. There was Cody's going to finish the story at WrestleMania 87 million. <laughs> and be like an AI robot or something. So, Scotty yeah. too hot he was in this one, though. He was. He was eliminated by my, my fave, though. DDP. DDP. Bang. Bang. But a very famous spot in this rumble is where Maven eliminates The Undertaker. Yeah. Yes. Very, very cool spot. Maven <laughs> just drop kicked his ass into the next century. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Steve Austin, Triple H, uh, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Angle. Billy and Chuck. Don't forget yeah, the them. end. B- yeah. Billy and Chuck. Yeah, they were in the match. Yeah. And Perry Saturn. Perry Saturn's in the match. With his face Val tattoo. Venus. That's the only thing that looks the same now. Yeah. Again, there was some really, really good, you know, Rob Van good Dan. stars in this match. I really liked this Rumble. I thought it was very good. Yeah, like, looking at this lineup, like, this Rumble, pretty much everybody in this match, I like. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone in this match I don't really like. Like, as in their gimmicks and stuff weren't over enough for me at the time. Yeah. Yeah. This is peak, like, that era for me. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So, yeah, this is uh, one that may come up later. (laughs) So, we're just getting in our discussion. I like it. It's good. Oh. Terry's excited. So, Terry, what's your number four? Yeah. Wait, are we still on number four? Jeez. Let me see what we've we got here. Louise. Uh, da, 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 right. And Albert was in this, and he was part of X Factor, so I love that. Okay, I'll go, go for 2008. 2008 Rumble? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. 2008? That's one of my favourites. <laughs> Sorry. Love 2008 <laughs> Rumble. Can't even remember what happened in 2008. The return of John Cena. Madison oh. Square Garden. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said 2009. <laughs> no, I didn't. I like the winner of 2009. <laughs> Not the Jimmy Wang Yang match, but it, had, it started off with Ric Flair doing his one loser match. Yeah, yeah. But that was good. Good storyline. JBL and Jericho. Didn't fucking understand that. That was a shit one. Good Edge and Ray match. Orton Jeff, probably my favourite Jeff Hardy match. <clears throat> and then, yeah. The Royal Rumble was the very Royal good. The Royal Rumble itself. Yeah. I love that because you had the Piper and Snooker. Yeah. Know. Yeah. And the names in there are just, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. Horns it's a sparkle. good Rumble. Whoops. Yeah. No, one of my one of my favourites. Yeah. John Cena's probably his biggest pop he ever had as well. I hear that wind. Fucking hell. Was that, is that outside, is it? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing there, Darren? I was just looking up something. All right. <laughs> so, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to jump ahead. Okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to do my number three. Okay. Same as yours. 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Love 2008. Yeah. I liked 2007 as well. Didn't mind that. That was pretty good. That was a yeah. take Taker and Sean at the end. Yeah. That was cool. But the rest of the event was quite a letdown, I thought. Yeah. Didn't. 2007, the whole year was a letdown. Mm, yeah. I really didn't like that year. But you got Undertaker and Sean at the start of this one. <laughs> My number three. 2008. <laughs> 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 oh, you're on t- Okay. So your number four is 2008. Yeah. And our number th- three is 2008. Oh, so. I love it. That's well good. Fuck me. That's jumped, jumped ahead this episode. It's going to be quite short. <laughs> we can put some discussion about what happened last night. We <laughs> we can't because we're, we're not far ahead in the future yet. We can cut and paste. Can we? No. no. <laughs> now, this is a cool match, though. I like. I did like this ramble. I even like everything to like. <clears throat> we get Mick Foley in this match, for God's sake. Well, even like the, the DVD case is just banging as yeah, well. Yeah, I've, I've, I don't think I've got a on DVD actually. Uh, I've got 
I got this one somewhere. Fuck knows. I spent some other pricks watching it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Did you sell it? Did you? I think so. Sold my fucking soul. To the sucky According best. to this, they had a load of qualification matches for the Rumble as well. Yeah, I think I'm. Marga defeated Jim Duggan on December 29th. <laughs> Snitsky defeated Drew McIntyre on a Raw House show. Let's get in it. Hardcore Holly defeated Trevor Murdoch. Oh. John Morrison and The Miz defeated Jimmy Wang Yang and Shannon Moore. Right, yeah. Hornswoggle and Mick Foley defeated the Highlanders, Robbie and Rory McAllister. That's one of those ones that went to TNA for... Yeah, and got, and got, and got their careers out by doing that. Yeah. Deuce and Domino was on the card. Uh, that, was on a, that was a dark match. CM it? Punk defeated Chavo Guerrero on WWE Super Show. Yeah. You watch that? He does that now. He defeats people on That Chavo, Chavo and Punk's match to follow him up was banging. No way out. Oh, I see. Triple H defeated Snitsky, Mark Henry and William Regal in an over-the-top gauntlet match. That's, that's an interesting fact there. Yeah. But yeah, this was my number three as well. You know, Jeff Hardy there with the... Nail varnish. Yeah. We like a bit of that. Ric Flair versus MVP. A bit random, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't understand <laughs> that. But it's a career-threatening match, apparently. It's weird, because 2007, I was very in and out with wrestling, big time. Yeah. This is where my music career began. <laughs> So I was dipping in and out again. I was really losing touch. Yeah. Ah, I got crap, crap in my And foot. you've got the decent list yeah. of JBL and the old thing. So. But leading up to this Royal Rumble, like it was December of that year, I started picking myself up again. Yeah. It's just remembered for John Cena, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. And he wasn't even supposed to be ready. No, he was back way, way before. Just like... Um, Alexa Bliss last night. We didn't expect her to be back. And she came back. Yeah, she done well. She did really well, but then Bailey just pipped her at the post right at the end of the match. Yeah, Bailey's off to WrestleMania. And that Jade Cargill where where she um botched it <laughs> and she tried to like do that. He was gonna really be watching this and I can was... just step over the top ropes and get in the match. But she got caught and then they said technically she was in the match, so they but then she got eliminated by everybody because they were like, fuck you, just get out of the match. If we watch this back, spot? if we watch this back yeah. in two weeks' time and you're... And Jay be- Cargill botches. And you have got <laughs> this Royal Rumble 2024 prediction. So tri- yeah, Triple H predicting that happened. it was all like, you know, she wasn't ready. He was uh, right, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then she threw that temper tantrum outside the ring and now we just don't know what's going to happen to her going forward <laughs> sounds like she my might f- end up back in AEW soon that sounds like my fucking life mm. <laughs> so <laughs> where, where, where are we to now to th- th- number three what's your number three then so we can't release this episode before the rumble happens we can only release it after no, we can release it before don't matter well, we'll see what happens but it'd be more fun releasing it afterwards I think because of our little weird situation Peckers. yeah so, your number three, Terry. Let's try and make the show longer. Um, it's all good. <laughs> I think I will go for ninety. Some water? No, no, I'm getting hot though. Look like it now. Yeah. I'll go for nineteen ninety six. Ninety six. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Don't know what happened, mate. Sean won properly Sean? this time. Who's Sean? Sean Michaels. Mate. Oh, Sean Michaels. Not Sean Walkman. Ninety six no. was. Or Sean Stasiak. Fantastic. Planet Stasiak, everyone. Are we going to do another episode one day where you're from Planet Stasiac? We're going to have to, I think, at some point. <laughs> They'll be making returns. So what else happened here? What the, 21? Any other decent matches? Because we're going for the whole pay-per-view. Yeah, I, d- I don't know the, this this. Razor card. and Moan Goldust. Uh, Did Razor Smoking and Moan Guns, win? Body Donners. Oh. And Mass Taker versus Bret Hart. Was this where Razor and Moan was winding down his WWE career then? Yeah. So he lost, I'm guessing. Ahmed Johnson, Jeff Jarrett. Some, yeah, like you said, Smoking Guns defeat the Body Donners. Gold Dust defeats Razor Ramon for the IC Championship. Shawn Michaels wins the Royal Rumble to eliminating Diesel. Yeah. And The Undertaker defeated Bret Hart. Yeah. By disqualification. Yeah. So Diesel and That was Razor. a long, that's a 28-minute match. What the fuck happened there, then? Well, Undertaker and Bret. Mm. It was a good match. What's that? Uh-huh. 
I, I've it's never... really underrated match. No one really talks about. Oh no, I, I do have this on video cassette. Oh, <laughs> VHS, VHS. Oh. Where did the cassette come from? I'll tell you two things they done in this event that was pretty cool. Yeah. They had the free for all. They would have thirty versus number one spot. Right, which mm. I love that. Yeah, and this is the first ever Royal Rumble that they had theme music for the entrances. Really, ninety six was. Yeah, I didn't like the Rumbles without that. This is Vader's yeah. like highlights. This is Vader's debut. This is the return of Jake Roberts and Tatonka. <coughs> I think it was Terry Dory Funk or Terry Funk in this one. I'm not sure. It's where Stone. Yeah, Dory Funk is. It's where Stone Cold did a botch by getting eliminated. Like Fatu. He was the ringmaster at this point as well. What was the botch? He something to do with some greasy hair or something. Hey? Well, he went to <laughs> grab someone's hair and missed. And he, he went like the there's a clothesline over the top rope. He's meant to hold on, but the ropes are so oh. greasy he slipped. Oh, I see. Yeah. But he wasn't meant to win. It's that damn baby oil. I think again. he was meant to be in the final four. No. <laughs> he's never... what, was this Taskmaster Steve Austin? The, r- the ringmaster. Ringmaster, sorry. Yes. Got confused with a British TV program there for a minute. <laughs> uh, so what number was that? We so on? that was your number three. Mm-hmm. We're on oh. two. So now, Darren, your number two. 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 I'm afraid that it's one we've already discussed as well. Oh. It's 2002. Yeah, I had a cool one. Uh, oh, yeah. Triple H, and this is my era. So. It's funny that this, this year, like this Royal Rumble was actually still part of the Attitude Era. Mm, technically. It is technically, but just it, it doesn't. F- it's in the crossover period. It is, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's some good stuff. Some good stuff. We've already discussed it. Yeah. Um, that is not the password. <laughs> <laughs> and the official iPad. Okay. Okay. But yeah, th- there's not really much to add to it. Yeah for me because mm. we've already discussed it so I'll do my number two this is um. so my number two is the 2001 Royal Rumble yeah 2001 2001 oh mm. so number I, uh, two. I even enjoyed the Sunday Night Heat because we had Lowdown Chaz formerly known as Mosh, and D'Lo Brown, with Tiger Ali Singh. Ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is, yeah. D- who, and they defeat Kai and Tai. Yes. Fanaki and Takamishi. Not Kai and Tai. They were, they were better than our foundation, weren't they? Apparently. Apparently. Mm. apparently. Mm. Fucking twat. Yeah. But anyway, so we got a new tag team champions. The Dudley Boys defeat Edge and Christian for the WWF Tag Team Championships. And then... Oh, and then we get... An epic ladder match. Th- this match, when it when it comes to when we finally watch this, I know how this is going to be scored as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's yeah, that, the, that day there. will come. A Slammy Award. Yeah. 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 Chris Benoit. Uh, Absolute sorry. shite. Why didn't... why like, Ladder matches, that's so shit, mate. Like, oh, yeah. Overrated. Brian well, Paddy's match. Those, those, been Brown those climbing yeah. up the ladder like you're a fucking retard. Right? Yeah, so or slow. Or an idiot. Like, you, just get, yeah, you, you just climb it properly and you just get there and you win. Mm. What are they yeah. doing? No, it's really good. So Chris, ben, Chris Jericho <laughs> defeats Chris Benoit in a ladder match for the IC Championship. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely incredible. Chris versus Chris. Ivory defeats China for the Women's Championship. By pinfall. By a big-ass pile driver. Because of Stephen Richardson. Yeah, that was... Um, you know... But Ivory had a good little run there for a bit. She did okay. <laughs> he doesn't like Ivory, by the sounds of it. Ivory? I don't mind Ivory. Didn't no, like she it. was right. You so, didn't like the right to censor. I didn't did like you? China. Because, you know, they were censoring everything you loved at the time. I think I, I preferred Ivory over China. I thought Ivory had talent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, controversial. <sighs> it's no. true. I, I, mean, thought, I thought both were brilliant. Jericho even agrees with me. <laughs> Jericho fucking <laughs> says a load of shit, me. <laughs> so now, I've not I've not heard any wrestlers yet say China was a fucking great athlete in that ring. Athlete. I've heard more people. Worker. I think her. people have said she's not a great worker. She's very stiff. Yeah, yeah. I've, but I've that, heard maybe that. she was just trying to compensate for maybe not being a man. 
in a man's match. So, yeah, Kurt, uh, Kurt Angle defeats Triple H to retain the WWF with Championship. With Trish Stratus. Oh. With Trish and Triple H with Steph. Yeah. In a single. Oh, fuck you, no. 2001. I was a fan of both of them in 2001. Yeah. Fucking sake. I was a little bit upset that the last man eliminated in the Rumble. But he was the man of the match. Yeah, this Rumble Rumble match was incredible. This Rumble again, the entrance in this Rumble are fantastic. There's not a bad one in there, really. Except for the guy I always have an issue with. The Honky Tonk Man. The Honky Tonk Man. (laughs) The Honky Tonk Man. (laughs) But it's fine. Because that match was great. Yeah, I, I this Rumble match is very, and, very good. And it has some hilarity in it. Yeah. With Drew Carey. Yeah, and Kane. And Kane. Of, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just funny. Who eliminated The and Rock, then? Th- oh, I'm going to go with Kane, to be honest. Where the fuck is The Rock? Uh, the Rock Rikishi, is... Uh The Rock was eliminated by Kane. Uh, yep. Yeah. What can Kane, I... this is the match where he set the record. Yeah, 11 it was. eliminations. And now has that been Roman Reigns has got it. Yeah, I was going to say. I think, unless it's I just think, the greatest Royal Rumble, was that? Yeah, really? I think Braun Strowman's broke it now. Fucking greatest Royal Rumble. Hold on a sec. The Rock wasn't in the match. Was uh, Oh, yeah, sorry. The Rock came yeah, in. The Rock came in at 13. Oh, yeah. And he's in the block of people eliminated by Kane. Got yeah. Mm. He lasted till 28, though, apparently. I, it. I do feel like Steve Austin's win of this match, like... He should have come in a bit earlier, maybe where The Rock was. Yeah. It was a bit rushed. Kane I... lasted 53 minutes in this rumble. <laughs> yeah, I prefer I prefer Steve Austin's 1998 win over this one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I would yeah. have preferred Kane to win this one. <laughs> I'm a Kane tonight. What can I say? Yeah, but, but no, th- th- this rumble was very, very good. Yeah, yeah, Kane being featured very highly in this made it for me. Yeah. And I'm just going to reveal now that this is my number one. Is it? That's so I don't need to go in next in line anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, that's so, cool. But yeah, so we just carry on. Uh, you chose a good one. Um, that's a good one. Yeah, this is this is my number one. And there's even an R-Truth in there. So There is, yeah. And he's over like Rover. Okay, no. That's your number one? Here's my number one. So you're 2001. out. He's out. He's done. You're completely out of this. You've only got one more left. I haven't even done my number two yet. Have you not? Nope. What's oh. your number two then, Terry? Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> my number two is... Fuck, this is where I got stuck. Yeah. 1990. I think I think I might have <laughs> Yeah, it's got yeah. I've seen 92. that one shouted out in the comments. It's got to be 92 cuz 92 is the greatest rumble ever. Let's let's look it up. The match card is shite. But Absol- the rumble was good. Yeah, it's the best ever rumble. And who won that old rumble? Rick Flair. Mm. Didn't he win it for the championship as well? Mm-hmm. And Rick Flair's a how many time world champion now is it? They're 16. saying on AEW, sixteen time world heavyweight champion. Now on AEW, they're saying like something ridiculous. Twenty four on it. Yeah, something like that. Fucking they're including hell. all these random ass. <laughs> so we have a dark match. Chris Walker defeats the Brooklyn Brawler by disqualification. Is that Braden Walker's younger brother or older brother or something. Don't know. The new foundation, Jim Neidhart and Owen Hart, defeat the. Business Orient Express, Ugh, Kato and Pat shit. Tatanka. So shit. Roddy Piper defeated the Mountie shit. for the IC Championship. The Beverly Brothers, Ugh. Bue and Blake, defeated the Bush Rockets. Oh, Do you want to take this back, Terry? I can't. Because of the rumble. The, the Natural Disasters, Earthquake and Typhoon, defeat oh, yeah. the Legion of Doom. Ah. By classic. count out for classic. the tag championship, absolute classic. And Ric Flair won by See, defeating Sid this, Justice. This rumble's a smoking skull every time. I don't know if I've ever watched this rumble. What's some of the names? What, what's some of the names? So right we've here? got the British Bulldog, Ted yep. DiBiase, yep. Ric Flair, Jerry Sags, Haku, Shawn Michaels, Tito Santana, the Barbarian, Texas Tornado, Repo Man, Greg Valentine. Nikolai Vokov, Big Boss Man, Hercules, Roddy Piper, Jake Roberts, Jim Duggan, IRS, Jimmy Snooker, The Undertaker, Randy Savage, Berserker, Virgil, Colonel Mustafa, Rick Martel, Hulk Hogan, Skinner, Sergeant Slaughter, Sid Justice, and Ward, Warlord. Warlord. I thought he was going to say Wardlow. I was about to say Wardlow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, everyone, everyone knows. It's, it's the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I... I I have never watched it. 
So no. not for me. From no, me. I haven't. I I want to now though. Don't watch the just. Watch I've watched this match. Yeah. How long's this match? That was your number one, yeah. An hour and two, two. minutes. I can do that. No, number two. Mm-hmm. Now that makes more sense. I thought that was your number one for a minute there. So it's like, my number one now. Oh, is it? Wait, have you you've done I've your done number, my number one? one? So it's his. It's my number no, one. Yours. Yeah. So confused. Royal Rumble, two thousand. Ah, didn't even make it on my list. Ah, what? Yeah. It didn't, did it? Mine's also Royal Rumble two thousand. Oh, sh- <laughs> your okay. number one's Royal Rumble. Yeah. For a match card, it's it's the best one. By the, miles. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We'll see. We both got it as number ones. We've we've had this before, haven't we? Yeah, we, you and I have. Yeah. And we come up. We voted this as the greatest pay per view of all time. We did it. <laughs> we did it. It won, we... it won it by process of elimination. It did. Yeah. So we don't have a Sunday night heat, but we have the debut of Taz. What an ovation! And yeah. He defeats Kurt Angle by a technical submission. Yeah. In three sixteen. It was like my number six or seven, but... Oh, man, this is a... Hardy Boys and defeat the Dudley Boys uh, in a tag team tables match. Yeah. Fucking hell of a match. It's probably because it was literally the year before I got full access to everything. That's why it didn't make it. Oh, man, I was was watching this over and over and over again. And me and my brother burnt out the the recorded VHS tape from Channel 4. (laughs) And we had to have two months or three months of having to wait until mum bought it on VHS for us. Mm. I was... This is my one of my favourite pay per views of all time. What do you buy your VHS? Is this the first from? ever tag team table? Um, there was a there was a little shop in Froome that used to sell the VHS was tapes. It? Yeah, as long as this is twenty plus years ago. Is this the first ever tag team tables match? Because it says yes. there inaugural, so I'm guessing that's what that means. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not a massive fan of tables matches. Oh man, this is fucking because, insane. Because, like, it's kind of anticlimactic. Mm. Like when John Cena just fell through a table and Sheamus won the title. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing can happen. Or like, who was it? Was it Big Show just stepped through the table and that was the match over? Yeah. yeah. That sort of thing can happen in table matches, so I'm a bit but iffy th- on them sometimes. I like TLCs more. Yeah, but th- this made sense. Like, yeah. because... Because of Get the Tables. Get the Tables. Deep oh, Dudley Boys. Get the Tables. But that was match again. That's going to be scored very high when the time comes. Yeah, Jericho defeats China and Harko Holly for the undisputed WWE mm. WWF Intercontinental Championship. That's when China was a man. This match was okay. This was okay. The next match, though. So why is it at this point the undisputed WWF? Because they had, we had co-champions China and Chris Jericho. Ah, yes, um, did. I think Chuck and Hulk or Holly in the mix didn't make, se- make any sense, but, no. you know, that's... Just... What the fuck was he there for? No, I don't know. Did he break his neck? Or... No, he didn't. No? <laughs> so, the New Age Outlaws defeat uh, the Acolytes in, like, two minutes, which was just shit. I've seen all these matches, right? But I've never watched the pay-per-view as one, so that's probably why I didn't get to my Yeah. <laughs> I but didn't realise they all happened on this card. We get another fantastic match, which is Triple H yeah. defeating Cactus Jack in a street fight for the WWF Championship. Another match that will be scored very high one day. This is my favourite my favorite Triple H match. It's mine too. Yeah, really good. Absolutely brilliant. Is the reason this is your favourite all time the fact that D'Lo Brown's the first entrant in the Rumble? Some of it. D'Lo Brown did good, man. But the Rumble match itself, yeah, the Rock won by uh, eliminating the Big Show, which ended up that rivalry went into No Way Out because they say that both feet touched the floor first. So it's cool. Which they did. They did. (laughs) But then we get a terrible main event at WrestleMania 2000. Yeah. Did we? Did it was really? okay. I didn't mind it as a kid. Hmm. But um, I think it would have been alright if Foley didn't break his ribs. Yeah. But the rest of the the, the the Royal Rumble match, I mean we get D Lo Brown, Grandmaster Sexy, Mosh, Christian, Rikishi, Scotty Too Hotty. Then we get the dance off, the two cool dance off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh <was> so cool. <laughs> Steve Blackman, Viscera, Big Boss Man. Did you tell him that the other week? No, but Scotty. I'm going to tell Rikishi to tell him. Uh, I tell saw, just tell him. I saw Scotty the other week. And, yeah, can um, they still hang out? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Ask him. 
I will. Yeah, yeah you should. I'm going to ask Rikishi if we can have a dance off when he does his Q and A. Yeah, I'm going to do it. You just like bring the shades. And the... Yeah, I'm yeah. going to do. It. I'm going to ask him. I say, can we do a, like a, what we did it? I heard that Rikishi's a bit of a prick. Really? Yeah. Are you going to yeah. touch Kishi's bum as well? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be an easier target. A kiss his ass. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm gonna. Tr- if I get the opportunity, I'm gonna try and ask him if if he'd be up for that. When you when you meet Vince one day, you're gonna kiss his ass too. And yeah, to yeah, I like Vince. He's a good commentator. Yeah. And Saudi Arabia is the home of WWE. So it is. If you go there, you can meet him. I love Saudi. 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 Of Saudi, they're all the fucking same, aren't they? <laughs> Camel rider motherfuckers. So we got Test, British Bulldog, Gangrel, Edge. Bob Buckland. Oh, yeah, he's a good-looking bloke. Why was X-Pac, like... He earned his number 30 spot. Ah, uh, did he really? Yeah. Uh, I think he earned that, like, two weeks on Raw before that. Was that by beating right. Razor? Hey? Did he earn it by beating Razor? No, this was, like, seven years after that. Oh. So he earned it by going to WCW and poisoning the company and then coming back? Yeah, he did a good job by poisoning that shit and then yeah. come back to where he belonged. Yeah. <laughs> So good man. Who's anyway, that? That's kind of like what Cody did as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny that. It's funny mm. that. <laughs> Something going on here. There is. But anyway, we have when some... Cody won the Rumble last night. That's all because he fucked over AEW. Yeah. I don't know what you're you're, you're fucking confusing <laughs> shit so much. <laughs> 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 um, I think Godfather come out at twenty nine. I was like, oh right, okay. Kane though coming out. We don't really see a lot of Kane. No. For a couple of weeks after this, and then you get the the infamous return where he comes back with his new attire with Paul Bearer. Mm. Ooh, yes. And then that kind of falls on deaf ears. And the, the match that we had at No Way Out, X Pack and Kane, should have happened at Mania. Yeah. Or always say that. Mm-hmm. Piss me off. But yeah, head of a cool rumble. Perfect win for The Rock. Um, because this, I mean, yeah, the, the crowd are just mental. Is it is Madison Square Garden? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the you attendance, 19,231, so they were jam-packed, sold out. Well, where's the Rumble yesterday? Tampa, Florida, I believe. What's, how big is the venue? I can find out. So, Royal... Do you miss, like, the intimate settings that they used to have, rather than these big, oh. massive stadiums? <laughs> Yeah, shit. 20, yeah. 20. Stadiums sometimes like, get a bit lost in the atmosphere. It is in the Tropicana field. That's Which is how many? Wait a minute. 80,000, isn't it? Well, that is a very big venue for the Royal Rumble. St. Peter's, Florida. Capacity, 42,000. Oh, oh, they've 42, done this before. 000. They've done that before. You've been here before, haven't they? Yeah. Give it to someone else. We want a Rumble at Wembley. Yeah. A Rumble at Wembley. It'd be a bit chilly. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> Especially in January. Well, whatever. We can. They can give us the greatest Royal Rumble in like whenever the, the heat fuck. on. We can start some fires in the stadium. Hey, it's all good. We can do it. I'm surprised no one mentioned the greatest Royal Rumble in their list. Yeah, oh, Josh yeah. did. Fucking prick. Oh yeah. Did he actually. He ha- he had yeah. He likes that event. What when Braun Strowman won it? Was that the one with Yokozuna in it? Well, kind of. Titus O'Neil. That was the highlight. <laughs> it was. Who are you referring to, Yokozuna? Huh? They, they wanted Yokozuna in it. He's so dead. they ended up hiring some random sumo, uh, sumo wrestler to take his place and just get away with it. Mm, don't know. Do you not remember that? They I filed for it. <laughs> it worked. So, yeah. There we go. So my... I think we're... Yeah, we're done. We're done. 2000 wins again. Royal Rumble 2000 does win again. The greatest Royal Rumble of all time. And an Paper honorable view. mention for 2001. 2001's great, though. I love 2001. Did you notice, though, about 1998? I know I'm a big fan of it. It didn't make the cut. No. Made no. It's not number, I would say that's probably number seven. I think my number six was probably 2007. Really? Yeah, I like 2007 Rumble. I loved seeing Sean and The Undertaker at the end. Apparently, by the yeah. way, on our previous episode where we got a stars, a star translates to one penny. A penny. I think we've got 47 stars. Yes. So we are rolling in it. We have got 47 pence. Thank you for those stars. Thank you very much. (laughs) But yeah. Right then, boyos. So, we've got time to wrap this mother trucker up. Thank you for joining us on our 
very exclusive recorded episode of the TDS yep. Wrestling Show. Where the Royal Rumble happened world. last night. And we the Royal happened. Rumble happened last night. Everything's legitimate. Jay Cargill sucks. Everything yeah. that Darren said is correct. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> my contact yeah. lens got stuck. And to can my you believe Seth Rollins' injury was a complete work, and he just turned up and <laughs> did that amazing match? You know. Oh dear! Oh Whoa. dear! Oh dear! Right then, guys, we are going to wrap this up. <laughs> and thank you for watching. I wouldn't say join. Thank Listening. you for watching this exclusive episode of the TDS Wrestling Show. When you've watched this, we will be live within a week, and we'll be reviewing the 2024 Royal Rumble. Yeah. And we're going to open a can of whip ass on I that can't bitch. Wait for that. Cannot wait for that. And no spoilers in the chat the day after, by the way, because I've got to work. I will not be saying a word. Yeah. I'm avoiding social media for the whole I am, day. I am going home and I watching gonna, the whole event. I'm not going to do anything. Because we won't be here. I'll be able to sit there all Sunday evening, just watch the thing. I'm going to come in here Sunday morning and I'm going to watch it on my own with zero distractions. That's my plan. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That is my plan. Anyway, thank you for watching the TDS Wrestling Show. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Follow, like, subscribe, and share the love. That's what we say. On our YouTube, the TDS yeah. Wrestling Show podcast. Just yeah. search that TDS Wrestling Show. Also, podcast. we're on TikTok as well, you know. Yeah. You want to watch there's some crazy shit. We're still shit talking on there. about that, are we? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might oh, you might be pleasantly surprised we could be live on that. But by the time we uh, yeah. do Royal we Rumble. We had some problems with it last week, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, but we know, I now know how we can get over that. Okay. So it's all good. Right, let's end this mother trucker. Thank you, guys. We shall see you next week. You can do your good wave if you want. Signing off. Bye-bye.